with the Hornets. I am Bernie Torres. And I am Matt Davis. And we will guide you through this evening's annual Back to School Night. Right now, you should be in your student's homeroom and have in front of you a schedule of a typical day here at North. But before you visit any of the classrooms, you'll be introduced to our administrative team and some of the other people your child might come in contact with during the school day. Before we get to that, I thought we should start with a little trivia. Trivia? Yes, trivia. You know, warm up the audience a little. Are you ready? Question number one. Which middle school, constructed in 1994, is the oldest? Easy, Howell North. Now it's my turn to ask you a question. Once, what middle school once housed over 1,500 students? North again. But that was before they built the other two middle schools. Now, at a population of 828, things are more manageable here. And there are no trailers. Okay, last question. Who is the principal? You mean the new one? Yes, here's a hint. It's not Mr. Dennis. He opened the school. It is not Mr. Conti. He was in charge when the sixth graders came over. It is not Mr. Izola. He is now the new assistant superintendent. Then that leaves Mr. Farley. Nice transition, Bernie. Thank you. Parents, we now turn the program over to the principal of Hallow Middle School North, Mr. Paul Farley. Good evening, parents, and welcome to Back to School Night. As you know, I'm a new principal here at Howell Middle School North, and I cannot be happier to be here. I look forward to a successful school year, and if there's ever anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to call. Just to give you a little background about myself, I've been in Howell for the past eight years. On my first year here, I did split time between North and South, so I did spend a little time here at Howell Middle School North. For the past seven years, I have been in Howell Middle School South as a vice principal at my new role. I just want to let you know the three things that I expect of your children and I think we're in agreement as a fellow parent myself. I'm going to ask the children to be responsible, I'm going to ask them to be respectful, and I'm going to ask them to do their best. If you could communicate that to your children, be responsible, be respectful, and be your best, they're going to have a great time here at Howell Middle School North. I look forward to working with you, and have a great night. Good evening, parents. My name is Lincoln Parry, Vice Principal. I'm in charge of the 8th grade. I also share responsibilities with the 6th grade with Mr. Joe Fiore. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome parents here this evening. Uh, I'd also like to mention to parents to please, I encourage you to get involved with your, with your students, uh, with your children as much as possible. I encourage them to get involved in our many activities here at the middle school, clubs, and athletics. And also, uh, please uh, communicate frequently and often with our teachers. Uh, they are here to assist you. It is a partnership between uh, the school and at home. And uh, again, uh, I'm looking forward to a great year and meeting uh, most of you. And uh, have a great evening, and uh, I hope to uh, see uh, everyone uh, during the school year. Uh, have a great evening. Welcome to Back to School Night. My name is Mr. Fiore, and I'm the East House Vice Principal. I would like to talk to you about student achievement and parental involvement. These go hand in hand. We have high expectations for our students here at Middle School North. We would love your parental involvement so that we can succeed together. My office is always open and you can contact me at 732-919-0095, extension 7400. Have a great night. Hi, I'm Melissa Seitz. And I'm Sydney Wertz. And we too would like to welcome you to our school and back to school night. Now that you met our administrative team, we would like to introduce you to some of the other people you, our students and staff meet throughout the year. And who knows, maybe you'd like to contact them sometime. And when you do, it would be nice to connect a face to a name. So next, you'll meet our support staff, who's there when you need them most. Good evening, I'm Christine Anderson. And I'm Tracy Spaulding, and we're your Middle School North School Counseling Department. Welcome to Back to School Night. Hello, my name is Carol Bonham. I am the Certified Registered School Nurse here at Howell Middle School North. I've been in the Howell District for, this is my 20th year, happy to say. I'm proud to uh, be here to take care of your children. 
please call or stop by at any time uh, to discuss any concerns that you have about your children's health and safety here at school. Also, please remember to call the attendance line anytime that your child will be absent, and I hope we all have a happy and healthy, safe school year. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Christine Daggett, and I'm the president of the Special Education Parent Advisory Council, also known as CPAC. For those who are unfamiliar with CPAC, you're a group of parents who represent the special needs community and those who are receiving special education services, including self-contained classrooms, resource center, in-class support, and out-of-district placement, as well as inclusion from pre-K through 8th grade. Our monthly meetings are held at Newberry Elementary School on the third Tuesday of the month at 7 p.m. CPAC offers parents and teachers free workshops and speakers pertaining to the special child. We encourage parents, guardians, teachers, and administration to all meetings. Although our primary focus is on the families with children receiving special services, especially as inclusion continues to increase in our schools. We also welcome and encourage parent and parents and teachers who have children mainstream to attend as well if they are experiencing any behavior issues that they may need assistance with. CPAC members receive monthly newsletters detailing CPAC's upcoming topics and workshops. Be sure to sign up before leaving. Well, that just about wraps it up. But unfortunately, our PTA president, Ms. Marlene Brown, was unable to send a video message today, but instead sends a statement. She encourages all parents and staff to join the PTA and support us throughout the year. Please stop by the PTA table in the cafeteria with any questions. We hope this information was helpful and you won't be a stranger. So now it's time to visit those classrooms and see what it's like to be back to school. Thank, Thank you and bye. bye.